Hello everyone, today we are going to build a web crawler by using Express.js and Puppeteer. So the crawler will start from the website URL where it will search for pages that can be opened and then it will store page content of every web page in the registry. So the end result will look like this. We will have a response in JSON format where each page URL will be a key and the value will be textual content that is found on the web page. For the demo we will use to scrape.com website. We will start with an empty folder and we will initialize the npm package and I will also install Express.js and in the package JSON I will add a script to run the server. The start script will run the main.js file which I'm going to create right now. I will include express module and I will also create the app instance. I will also specify the port where the server will be running on. I will use app listen in order to use this port and I will provide a callback function where I will just place a console log to make sure that everything works fine. Now let's start the server and check if the app is running properly. Everything is fine and now we can add a route that we want to use and it will be a get method route. And this will be a route URL that we will need to call in order to get uh, data from the website. And it will also need a handler function with request and response objects. First thing that I want to make sure is that there is a query parameter website, which should be a starting point for the crawler. So in this case, the URL request should look like this. We will have a question mark and the website equal to some website URL like something.com for example. So if that's not the case I will create an error object. It will have a message that the website uh, query parameter is missing and I will set the response status to 400 and pass the error object to the next function. If everything is fine and we have a query parameter, I will just add a try catch block and in case of an error, I will just console log that error in order to see it in Visual Studio Code terminal. I will set status to 500 which stands for internal server error and I will also add a generic message like something broke. Now we get to the point where we are going to need Puppeteer so I will install it with npm. Now we can include the Puppeteer into the main.js file and it will be ready to be used. I want to start with a simple example of scraping data from a single web page and later we will build a complex crawler. So I will create a browser instance uh, by running puppeteer launch method which is asynchronous method and because of that we will need to put a wait in front of it 
and async in front of the handle function. We can use the browser to open the page with new page method, which is also a synchronous method. And we will pass the website URL as an argument. That is the website URL that comes from request query. And now we can get stringified HTML content by using uh, page content method. And at the end, we will do a page close that we will close the tab and save some memory. And now we can return HTML as a server response with a, with a status 200. So let's run our app again and see our changes. I will make a GET request from the browser with the website query parameter and I will use to scrape.com. And I would advise you to do the same because if you try to run it on a real website that has some kind of protection, your IP address might be blocked. So I will use this quotes app and place the website URL as a query parameter. And if everything is fine, we will get the HTML of the web page served in the browser. So here it is. So the thing that we want to implement is to make our crawler open every link on every page and store the content of those pages. But the crawler needs to visit every page just once. So we don't want to waste resources and open same pages many times. So for example, crawler will open tag link and author link and so on. The thing that we want to prevent is to open pages from domain other than the starting point URL. So it will keep visiting pages only on the website that is provided in the request. So let's get to work. I will remove this part of the code so it won't confuse us. And I will create a registry variable which will be an object where I will store pages that are visited by the crawler and it will be a key value pair where page URL will be a key and the value will be the actual content of that page. The next thing will be a queue which will be an array where I will push all the links that are found on the page that is currently being scraped by the crawler. So each time when we visit certain page, it will be removed from the queue. And we will also check if the page exists in the registry before adding it to the queue. So obviously, uh, the first item in the queue will be the initial website uh, URL from the query parameter. And I can store it uh, in a variable as well. Now we will implement a while loop, which will run while the queue is not empty. So I will write while queue.length is greater than zero, because the goal is to empty the queue. I will start from the last item in the queue and store it in the variable called URL. And I will open a new page with the puppeteer and open that URL. So new page will open a new tab in the browser. And I will use go to method with the URL as an argument. And both methods are asynchronous. So I will need to put a wait in front of them. And now since we opened that page, 
I would like to update the registry where the property name will be the URL and the value will be all textual content of that page. I will use $eval method which is a query selector and I will select elements of all types by using asterisk and we will have an option for a callback which has each element as an argument so we can specify that we want only inner texts of every element. We would also need to add an await keyword in front of the eval method and since we visited this URL we want to remove it from the queue by removing the last item. So we visited this URL, we checked for the text of that page, we updated the registry and removed the URL from the queue. Now we need to check every link that is displayed and check if we need to add those URLs into the queue. I will use eval method again, but this time with double dollar sign in front, because I want to use query selector all method. And I will select anchor elements and receive the array of anchor elements where I will use map function to get only their href attribute. We will get a new array of href values and I will create a variable hrefs. So I also want to filter these hrefs so I get only links which starts with the same string as the initial website URL which is specified uh, in the request query because I don't want to crawl other websites and another condition is that href is not stored in the registry, which means that the URL is not visited yet. The issue that might happen is that some pages can contain the same link on many places, so we might have duplicates in our hrefs array. So let's convert this array into unique hrefs array by using set object and using spread operator. Now we are ready to push these unique items into the queue array. Another issue might be that some of the unique hrefs are already stored in the queue, so we want to be sure that the queue has only unique items and I will use set again and assign queue to the new array. We should be done now with this part and we can close the page and close the browser after the while loop. And at the end we will return the registry as the response. So let's start our app again and test it in the browser. Wait, it will be more interesting if we add console logs for some values so we can track crawler's progress. So I will console log the current URL of the page where the crawler is. And I will also console log the queue length 
or maybe the whole queue array. Let's console load the whole queue. Now let's start the app again and see what happens. You will see how the queue grows until it reaches the maximum amount of items and then eventually it gets reduced. And when the queue is empty you will see the JSON response in the browser. And this is a perfect way to drain your battery. So I will speed up this process until I get the server response. And here is the final result. We crawled the whole website and store all textual content in our registry. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to support me, please subscribe to my channel and spread the word about uh, this channel and this YouTube video. Thanks.